Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to highlight my top three growth stocks to buy for 2023. So let's get right into it. My first stock to buy for 2023 is Meta Platforms. The social media giant had a very challenging year in 2022. The stock is down over 70% and the face several headwinds all at once competition from TikTok, the headwinds from apple's privacy policy changes that made it more difficult for meta to sell targeted advertising and the russian invasion of ukraine which made advertisers especially in europe pull back spending on marketing as they wait and see how the economy evolves especially in europe again from the disruptions from war and so 2023 i expect to be a better year for meta platforms doesn't have to be an excellent year for the stock to do well in my opinion because it was so hammered in 2022 i think one of the main factors that will be the primary catalyst to push meta platform stock higher in 2023 is its own short video format platform reels that's getting widespread consumer use it's really popular among users of facebook and instagram and so far it's been rolling out this short form video format but it hasn't monetized it very effectively just yet i expect that to happen in the sometime in the first half of 2023 for monetization levels in their short form video format to rise up to the levels like in its photos uh, image or stories formats at least approach those levels if not um, if not at, uh, if not reach them at least approach them and so that could be the catalyst that drives meta platform stock higher and it's also going to be comparing against uh, the year before when the the headwinds from Apple's privacy policy changes were already in place so it's now had a roughly more than 12 months to deal with these privacy policy changes come up with solutions and incrementally those solutions are going to help drive some revenue growth in 2023 as well as i believe management's going to announce some incremental decreases in the capital spending in their expenses in their spending budget reduce their investments in the metaverse all of these little incremental announcements are going to lift the stock higher because expectations are so low meta platforms is trading at a price to free cash flow of 12 and a forward price to earnings of 13 this is unheard of for a company as profitable and that's delivered as much earnings per share and revenue growth as meta platforms has so that's my first growth stock to buy for 2023 my second growth stock to buy for 2023 is Airbnb. The stock was hammered in 2020 as travel nearly came to a halt. Keep in mind in 2019, overall spending on hotels and resorts exceeded $1.5 trillion. In 2020, that fell to $610 billion. It was a huge drop off, a nearly $1 trillion drop off in spending on travel. Now, even in 2022, that level barely exceeded $1.05 trillion. So we're still over $400 billion below spending levels before the pandemic. That's a lot of pent up travel demand to make up over the next several quarters, maybe over the next two or three years. Nevertheless, Airbnb stands to benefit from that because it doesn't need to build massive hotels and resorts to benefit from the rising consumer demand. If consumer demand keeps rising, people with spare rooms or a vacation home are going to say, hey, I can make some money listing my property on Airbnb. They're going, to they're going to create the supply. Airbnb is just a platform bringing together hosts and travelers. It takes a percentage off of each transaction. And that's a lucrative business model, an asset light business model that I really like. That's why it's my second favorite growth stock to buy in 2023. Last but not least, the Walt Disney Company is my third favorite growth stock to buy in 2023 the company continues rebounding from the devastations of the pandemic the theme park segment was the one that was most critically damaged due to the pandemic 
Now, in its most recent trailing 12 months, trailing four quarters, revenue and operating income have exceeded levels from before the pandemic, even though international visitors to Disney's theme parks are still extremely, extremely constrained, right? Their international visitors have not come back in large numbers to Disney's theme park. Still, the segment is incredibly profitable because of They've implemented several price increases for one. For two, they've implemented this digital reservation system that allows them to control attendance and 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 uh, promotional and pricing. Right? They've got this dynamic pricing model where if cons if demand for a certain weekend is really high, they can they can raise the price for that weekend to the to the tier one level, right? The highest price level. And if they observe that, hey, three weeks from now, demand looks really low, they can lower the price on that weekend or maybe offer a promotion to local residents. And, you know, they, that, that digital reservation system allows them greater visibility into consumer demand. And that's allowed them to maximize profitability, optimize profitability of the theme parks. And so that's going to, in my opinion, continue in 2023 as consumers have prioritized spending on away from home experiences instead of spending on things that were popular during the pandemic, like flat screen TVs and iPads and um, computers and building out your home office. Now, away from home, things like visiting a theme park are more popular Disney stands to benefit. That's why it's one of my favorite growth stocks to buy for 2023. All right, that's all I've got for this video. I hope 2023 is a much better year for investors than 2022 was. That was a brutal year. I'm really hoping for a better year in 2023. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.